From now on, I am checking the difference in behavior between list comprehension and generator expression in Python code. To execute the demonstration, it is necessary to use the Python library requests, so now I am installing it. I am coding the Python program in the command line, so I've started Python by this command. At first, import the library, requests. Then, create the tuple that includes three URLs. This part is the list comprehension with for loop. It accesses each three URL in the tuple, and stores the response data in the variant RESP. This code is printing the length of contents, the status code, and the name of URL. The programming is finished. Let's execute it by hit the enter key twice. This is the result, and this is the expected behavior. These three lines were printed together. Next, let's check the behavior of generator expression. This code is almost same with the previous list comprehension, but square brackets are replaced by parentheses. This code is totally same with before. So just copy it. Now, execute it and check the behavior. Did you realize each line is printed one by one? On the other hand, in the previous case of list comprehension, all three lines were printed together. Let's check it again. This is the case of list comprehension. Printed all together. Next is the case of generator expression. Printed one by one. Summary. When you replace list comprehension square brackets with parentheses, the list comprehension becomes a generator expression, and the code behaves differently. The list comprehension waits for all of its data to be produced before feeding any data to the waiting for loop, whereas the generator releases data as soon as it becomes available. Therefore, the for loop that uses the generator is much more responsive, as opposed to the list comprehension. The case of handling less data like this example might not be a big deal, 
but if the URL's tuple was defined with 100, 1000, or 1 million URLs, it would be a big deal. If the date is so big, it would take a lot of time to print and consume a lot of memory. I hope this video can be a help to consider using a generator, when you are coding Python. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please check my other videos and subscribe this channel, if you like.